Okay, for the interior of the Baja, as soon as you come in, you've got your uh, battery voltage indicator right there. We'll let you know what the charge is on the batteries. Uh, you've got your uh, interior lights uh, as well as your um, exterior uh, light there. You've also got your audio center, which is AM, FM for indoor, outdoor speakers. You've got a CD player as well as uh, auxiliary input for like an iPod, you know, MP3 player. Uh, CO2 detector and smoke detector unit. Straight ahead, you can see the furnace uh, as well as a 120 uh, plug and the inverter for the battery charger that is, you know, built in. Uh, initially, we've got kind of a sectional seating area here, which gives you some nice seating uh, opening up to the bunk. Um, both bunks in this unit are king size, uh, which makes it very nice. Uh, we've got a standard window there. A couple of these I've left the plastic so you can see it's it's a it's a double weather zipper so you've got uh, you know some panels if, if you've got rain you've also got screen option so as you can see the Dynez I mentioned gives you a nice amount of realized space you know once you get in here uh, you've still got a nice aisleway here uh, looking forward we do have in the roof uh, a standard vent for cooling you've got uh, internal speakers You've got the set of speakers and overhead lighting down here. Uh, we've also got another light, uh, fluorescent light here over the sink area and the kitchen area and the galley. And then lastly, another set of speakers down there, uh, as well as the uh, fire alarm or smoke detector and overhead lighting there. Going into the kitchen, uh, first I guess I'll show just to make sure you understand we've got a fire extinguisher on board and you've got a full-size screen door uh, once again with a, a screen slide there. Back to the counter and the kitchen area, tons of storage. You've got three full glide pull-out drawers, uh, double storage underneath the sink, standard double bowl sink. Uh, moving down you've got your furnace, uh, thermostat controls right here. You've got two uh, storage compartments here under uh, the oven area which goes back to the wheel weld. Both of these you know, tons of storage back in there. Standard uh, Suburban 3 burner uh, RV grill, or cooktop rather. Uh, really neat option for this pop-up. Actually has an oven. Um, this is the exact same unit that you find in a lot of travel trailers. So uh, really nice option for a pop-up. Uh, moving down, you've got a standard, standard microwave. Uh, does great. A little Dometic microwave and then lastly a nice I believe it's about a three or three and a half cubic foot uh, three-way fridge so three-way uh, with freezer Where's a little up in there but uh, three-way so you've got 12 volt you've got uh, shore power and then of course it does run on LP gas so that's a nice feature as well more storage down here at the end of the galley area I've got some propane in there um, and then steps up to the rear bunk. The rear bunk, as you can tell, once again with the screens, it's just they're huge bunk ends. Uh, another king size. So off here to the right, the uh, cassette bath toilet shower unit. I'm about 6'3", 250. I actually shower in this. My wife and, and kids love it as well. You do get a fair amount of privacy for a pop-up camper. You've got a full door on it. Uh, inside you've got a shower curtain. You've got a standard, you know, shower head, which you can use detachable, you know, as a shower head, or you can just use it as a handheld shower. You've got your controls down there with your floor drain, and then just a basic uh, Thetford flush toilet. So, you know, all in all, uh, for a pop-up, very nice feature. And then once again, seals off. If for some reason you don't want to use it, you don't have to set it up. Everything collapses flat, and you end up with a tabletop if you want to put a TV or something like that on it. Um, dinette, you know, nice size four person dinette, built in cup holders underneath both sides of the uh, dinette. You've got storage under the bench, just to give you an idea, you know, tons of storage in here. And then you also have access to the storage uh, on the front via these doors. So, very, very nice option. So, this is, uh, this is our Baja. So, I hope you like it. Once again, the roof. All of this interior structure, all just metal struts and braces. Um, once again, the roof is one piece, and 
Uh, there's only seams on the outside of it just for the ends. Uh, never had an issue with it. Uh, solid item and uh, we love it. We just, you know, wanted you to have a, take a look at it and see if there's any questions you've got for us. Alright, thank you.